since the fiscal year of 1996, the Japan Patent Office has supported mainly developing countries and least developed countries by nurturing human resources in the intellectual property field. The Japan Patent Office has hosted more than 5,000 trainees. This human resources development project has contributed to the sustainable growth of the global economy by developing professionals in the intellectual property field. It is aimed at establishing and advancing intellectual property systems and disseminating information on intellectual property rights. The Human Resources Development Project includes mainly three different programs short and medium term training programs, a long term research program, and follow up seminars. In the long term research program, trainees visit Japan to research themes on intellectual property systems and prepare reports on their results. These research results are aimed at Supporting intellectual property systems in their home countries. In addition, the long term researchers are expected to serve as intermediaries between Japan and their countries. Hi, I'm Indra Radhakrishna from Malaysian Intellectual Property Corporation. I'm doing research on the trademark opposition system. It is good to be part of this program where I can get various exposure that can help for my future career development. Especially in the trademark area. I love to do research and I was so happy when I was given with this chance to do something that I really enjoy. And on top of that, I'm surrounded by really amazing and nice people. This makes the experience even more worthwhile. Thank you. Mabuhay, I am Ramil Arliantos, a patent examiner from IPO Philippines, currently a pat,、uh, participant of、uh, JPO's long term research program for fiscal year 2015. It is a perfect opportunity for me to involve in this program to study、uh, the differences or similarities of substantive examination of, between the Philippines and Japan in the field of、uh, plant biotechnology.、Uh, it is an aid for,、uh, to, and a starting point to formulate a guideline for substantive examination for plant related inventions. In the Philippines. I am honored to be a part of this program. Thank you. The follow up seminars on intellectual property systems are held outside Japan every year to provide ongoing support to former trainees and to develop awareness on intellectual property rights in their countries. The Japan Patent Office welcomes human resources from diverse countries and backgrounds. We at the Japan Patent Office hope that many intellectual property professionals participate in our training programs and work to improve the intellectual property systems in their countries. We are looking forward to seeing you in Japan. Let us walk you through the training programs. Most training programs are held over one to three weeks. There is also a medium term course that lasts several months and is targeted at patent examiners. Throughout the year, our training programs are held for examiners, administrators, patent attorneys and lawyers, educators, and other professionals. The training curriculum is published on this project website. To ensure that classes are interactive, the curriculum includes presentations, exercises, on the job training, discussions, and other activities. Depending on the content, lectures are presented by different experts. Including patent attorneys, lawyers, university professors, company intellectual property managers, JPO examiners, and other officers from the Japan Patent Office. Here are some examples of the lectures. 
In some lectures, trainees from different countries exchange information. These are trainees presenting cases on intellectual property rights. In this class, to improve search skills, participants are listening to an explanation about FI and F term and doing a search exercise. Here, a case study class is taught by a patent examiner. At the end of the training session, trainees present their assignment reports and hold discussions to assess the results of the training. Trainees also participate in study tours to the Japan Patent Office, various companies, and private patent offices. Here, a courtesy call is being paid to Mr. Masayuki Koyanagi, Deputy Commissioner of the Japan Patent Office. On the first day of training, the Japan Patent Office, as the host, offers a welcome speech. At the closing ceremony on the final day, trainees receive certificates from the Japan Patent Office. A representative of the trainees also gives a speech at the closing ceremony. I thought the course was very interesting. Uh, it covered many aspects of a uh, patent examination that um, was very comprehensive as well. Um, we started off with, with a visit to the JPO where we got to actually be in one of the appeal courts. I thought that was a very interesting experience having never been in, in an appeal court before. Um, and we had several case studies discussions as well where we compared the varying um, examination standards within countries in um, ASEAN and Japan as well. So it was very um, interesting for me as an examiner from Singapore. Uh, can I just say what a pleasure it is uh, to be here to uh, uh, learn about that examination guideline from JPO. And I think it is the best uh, chance for us to improve the uh, knowledge as well as the experience from the um, uh, revising patent examination guideline in Vietnam and Asian um, uh, country participating in this training course. Thank you very much. Here is a message from one of our former trainees, Ms. Josephine Rima Santiago, Director General at the Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines. Hi, I am Josephine Rima Santiago, Director General of the Intellectual Property Office. I'd like to credit my long exposure to intellectual property to the first training on IP that I've ever had more than 20 years ago. It was a three-week training course conducted by JIPII, the JPO, and METI, which provided a great opportunity for me to change my career. I've had countless of trainings in intellectual property after that, but I'd like to consider the first training that I've experienced in Tokyo as a pivotal reason for my change in career, and I've never reg regretted it after that. I'd like to thank the Japanese government for giving me that great opportunity. I'd like also to encourage the future trainees to grab the opportunity and understand, appreciate IP as it might also be involving a change in your career as it did to me. Thank you very much and good luck. To promote communication among trainees and to disseminate information on intellectual property rights, we have a Facebook page for communicating with current and former trainees. Other sources of information include our online magazine, Enishi, which consists of posts from former trainees and articles on intellectual property rights.
trainees foster friendships with each other and with lecturers during the training courses, expanding their networks. To help them continue these friendships upon returning home, a CD containing a directory and the contact information of trainees and lecturers is available to all trainees. The Japan Patent Office hopes to continue to assist developing countries and least developed countries in the establishment, maintenance, and improvement of intellectual property rights systems through the nurturing of intellectual property professionals.